Ladies and gentlemen, the new Doomsday Heist is just around the corner, so let's talk money. I think you'd like to know how much you're gonna need for this DLC. And just like with Smuggler's Run, I will make another video on the estimate cost of every vehicle we saw in the trailer. And I repeat, it will be every vehicle, not counting the new weapons, the buildings, the customization options, raw vehicles, buy now price only. The Smuggler's Run estimate cost I clocked in at 24 million. That was for all vehicles only and just for the vehicles we saw in the trailer. In the end, on the actual release, a bunch of extra vehicles got added and of course, the ridiculous price of the laser got added and it clocked in at a total of 48 million skiddly diddlies. However, the initial 24 million for the aircraft we actually saw in the trailer was only off by 2 million on my video, so pretty cool. With the ridiculous nature of this specific DLC, we'll be needing money. And a whole, whole, whole lot of it. Let's begin. So in the trailer, I counted 10 new vehicles. One of these 10 vehicles I couldn't quite make out, but it looks unfamiliar and I also counted the jetpack. The Ardent I left out because I strongly believe the underwater feature will be unlockable for your MOC as an upgrade. And again, I'm talking about buy now prices. The aircraft are up first. First up, we have the Stealth Chopper. So I'm going off the Hunter for this one. But of course, because of its high-tech nature, it will be slightly more expensive. 4.5 million dollars. Next up, the VTOL helicopter. The way Rockstar edited this, it looks like it will be an MOC as well, but only flying. So it will be actually mobile on its own instead of the trailer we got with gun running. Combine an aircraft with an MOC trailer and I think a rough estimate of 5 million dollars by now is a good price. Next up, the bomber. Many awesome people pointed out this is derived from the Avro Vulcan. I modeled this one in, into GTA 5 on PC and indeed it does look quite similar. It's faster than the Tula and probably has way more firepower. For that reason I would clock this in at 6 million. Last up we have the jetpack. Now this one is tricky and pure guessing. We have nothing to compare it to and no idea of any of the prices. But since it's hyped to the moon and beyond I think it won't be cheap at all. I'm going balls to the wall and say 10 million buy now price. Let me know what you think about that. Next up, let's start talking about the land vehicles. So we have the missile launcher truck. I will take the Rhino tank for this, but I will add a million to this. Why? Because the price of the Rhino was before every price skyrocketed with the later DLCs. So 4.5 million buy now. Next up, the DeLorean. This one I think we can all agree we can compare to the Oppressor and the Runer 2000. The Runer 2000 costs 5.7 million dollars by now and the Oppressor costs 3.5 by now as well. By the looks of things, the DeLorean can fly forever, so that will definitely add to the cost of the vehicle. So I'm calling 6.5 million by now. Next up, the two-seater buggy. For this one, I will take the Night Shark, only with two guns that are actually functioning. I think 2.5 billion, I think 2.5 million by now will be a decent price. The limo with two turrets, same deal, slightly more expensive. I am thinking three millions for this baby. Next up, we have the railgun tank. This is an interesting vehicle. By the looks of things, it also has special abilities. This is pure speculation, but I think it might be able to go off the radar for short amounts of time, or maybe have an anti-homing missile lock-on system. Not that it actually matters versus Triad Hydras. However, comparing this one to the Rhino, which costs 3.5, with increasing prices, possible extras, and just all-round badassery, 6 million by now. Now last but not least we have the classic sports car in the back. I'm not sure what this is and if this is even in the game already. I can't clearly see it. But this one won't be insanely expensive. So let's go easy and call it 400,000. Okay, now to add all these numbers up. Get ready, strap in, strap on. For all of the vehicles we saw on this particular trailer. So without the bunker slash planning room, without the Mark II weapons, without clothing or any of the vehicles we haven't actually seen, I'm clocking this at a total of... Whoo-wee! 48,400,000.000 buy now price. So the final cost can be reduced by a couple of millions even by playing the game for the majority of the vehicles I do assume. So does this seem like a lot to you? Well all the vehicles by now of Smuggler's Run costed 48 million. 
and I think it's safe to assume that all of the things we saw in the trailer are gonna be ridiculously expensive. Whatever the sum might be, whatever it will cost in the end, I think you're gonna have to get your grind up, so in the description down below I linked a couple of guys who do money guides and will be of great use to you if you still play GTA Online actively, be sure to check them out. So what do you think about the prices and what do you think the estimate cost of this DLC will be? Thank you so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe for more GTA related content and videos in the future. A peace out you guys.